Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. So, guys, in this video, I will show you how to uh, how to create a floating action button inside your Android activity. Okay. So, I will be using the material design dependency also. So, let's get started. So, uh, so guys, as I have already created the project. Okay. So the first thing which I need is first of all go to your build.gradle file and in here we need to add the spore design library okay so for that go to project structure and then go to dependencies and here you have to add support design alright click ok and here you had you need to click on ok alright the second thing which you need is a custom uh, dependency okay so we have to use the api so for that what we can do let's say compile okay so first of all let's write compile io dot github dot yavsk app dial 1.6 all right let's click on synchronize button all right guys so now the build out griddle is uh, finished so let's go to main activity okay and here we need to add the floating action button so we can say io fab speed dial okay and here we can say wrap content wrap content okay and here we can say gravity bottom end all right and let's say uh, gravity and we need to set the gravity to bottom end and also we can say fab menu and menu okay, so we will add the menu later and also we can uh, we can say we need a background tint and we can set it to android color white okay and also mini fab drawable tint and here we can say attribute color primary dark okay so now the next step is we need to add the drawable okay so how can we do that so go to your drawable and click new image asset okay and here we need to click on image and here we need to set action bar and tab icons okay so here we oh sorry okay so here we can uh, search first of all we need a call okay i see call and let's again add email I see email okay click next and click on finish all right so now we have these two uh, drawable IC call and IC email and next thing which I need is we need to add the menu so we can say in new Android resource directory and here we can say menu okay click okay and here we have this menu so we can say new main menu all right and 
so let's drag in a menu item title will be all icon will be the drawable I see call and ID will be all all right so now we can just copy that and similarly we need to paste it for email see email and here we can set it to email all right and here as you know now we have this button so we can drag it to here all right and now our layout is complete now just go to your our main activity and here first of all initialize the fab speed dial so i think we did not add the id okay so here we need to set the id to fab id okay so here we can initialize fab speed dial speed dial find you by id r to id dot fab id and we then need to set the menu listener so we can say fab speed dial dot set menu listener you fab uh, okay so now here what we can do first of all we need to uh, return true okay if we return false so it will not be shown okay and here also here we can set true and first of all let's uh, write toast dot make text let's print the uh, when the user clicks on a on an item so here we can say menu item dot get title All right, so now our code is complete. Let's try to run our code and let's see if it works or not. Let me connect my Android phone. So let me open the sightseeing app. Now, now my phone is connected. So guys our app is now running okay and if we i click on plus button here i have call and email okay if i click on call here you guys can see call and if i press email now email is shown all right guys so if you like the video please like it and subscribe goodbye